Calvados comes from the northern part of France, along the English Channel in the Normandy region. Normandy is most famous for the D-Day invasions of the Second World War. Its waterways have been used for centuries by the Romans, Franks, Gauls, and Vikings. In the 1700s, a Spanish ship wrecked off the coast of Normandy, and brandy, distilled from apples, was brought ashore. The ship, El Calvador, lent its name to this apple brandy, which later became known as Calvados. Normandy is too cold and rainy to grow grapes. However, apple and pear trees abound, as do cows that graze on the lush green pastures. Their milk gives rise to some of the most famous cheeses in the world, Camembert, Pont l'Evêque, and Livarot. While Calvados is also a brandy, it is made with distilled cider rather than wine. Some 800 apple and pear varieties are said to exist in Normandy, and most producers blend sweet, bittersweet, bitter, and acidic varieties together to make a complex, balanced cider. A cider too sweet lacks acidity, while one too high in acidity lacks flavor. The bitter or tannic varieties are especially good for distillation and hold the most apple and pear nuance. The Pays d'Auge is the most known appellation in Calvados. Legally, the cider must be distilled two times with a pot still, like in cognac. The other two Calvados appellations distill their cider only once. Most Calvados goes into well-seasoned oak casks rather than new oak barrels, allowing the purity of the fruit to express itself. This fruit starts out fresh, like a green apple or pear, while the wood adds light caramel and spice notes. As a Calvados ages, the fruit becomes more concentrated, almost like a baked apple that is topped with toffee and nuts. Since the 1800s, the Camus family has grown 115 acres of apple trees in the Pays d'Auge, the most esteemed growing region of Calvados. The Camus grow about 25 varieties of apples, all of which are collected from the ground after falling from freestanding trees at optimum maturity between October and mid-December. Cider is made from these apples and ferments in large oak casks for 10 or 11 months until it is completely dry. In September, the cider is double distilled with the property's two wood-fueled stills. During its first two years, the Calvados is frequently transferred between casks in an effort to promote the evaporation of esters. For its third birthday, the Calvados is placed in large, well-seasoned wood vats. These are always kept between two-thirds and three-quarters full, something that allows for a constant exchange of oxygen and gradual reduction in concentration of the spirit. Time alone mellows these rich, lush spirits that always retain their lovely, complex apple aromas and flavors. Camus also makes an excellent Pomo de Normandie. Pomo is made with two-thirds unfermented apple juice along with one-third Calvados. Traditionally in the area, Pomo is drunk as an aperitif. But because of its baked apple, smoke, toffee, licorice notes, it also works very well with any apple-based desserts. At 17% alcohol, one doesn't really have to worry about having it with dessert, either. Calvados is divided into three appellations, or regions of origin. The Pays d'Auge, AOC Calvados, and the Dom Fronte. 
Most Calvados from the first two appellations are made solely with apples whose trees thrive on their rich clay soils. The Dom Fronte, on the other hand, has soil that is more schist and granite based on which pear trees thrive. Consequently, Appalachian laws in the Dom Fronte state that at least 30% pear must be used in their cider. In the Dom Fronte, there are about 60 different types of pears, but most producers have seven or eight planted. Pears have higher acidity than apples and tend to create a more delicate, feminine spirit. Most retailers and restaurateurs find it fulfilling to have both apple and pear-based Calvados among their well-selected stock. The La Mortone family has a long history in the Dome Fronte. Roger is the fifth generation, and his son Didier now runs the property. Their nine-acre domain is planted with both apple and pear trees. The latter's influence is dominant. For every three apples in their Calvados, there are approximately seven pears. The Lumortones age their ciders for 11 months in well-seasoned oak casks before distilling on the property in a continuous still. The Lumortones sell some excellent young blends, including a six-year-old reserve. The jewels of the family crown, however, are the vintages from the late 70s and early 80s. These are found on the tables of the world's finest restaurants, spirits that still remain their fruit while fully displaying their terroir and breed. Well, that's it for the show today. I hope that some of these movies and images provided some additional insight into the wonderful world of Armagnac, Cognac, and Calvados. Until next time, I am Armagnac Man. Sucks. It's awful. Bad. This this Armagnac is horrible. Who ever? <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> no leisure suit, no Armagnac for you, pal. I have been to